Hey y'all, what's up? We on set of my new podcast, Carisha Please. I got my co-host, Sasha Santana, and a one and only JT. <laughs> <laughs> but before we start, bartender, can I get a Carisha please? This interview is being brought to you by Deleon Tequila, owned by a black man. Goes down smooth. Now back to more Carisha Please. So how are you feeling today? Like, are you excited to be here? Yes, I'm so excited to be here, like seriously, because it's like, this is really your show. And it's like, I'm nervous. Like, I'm just <laughs> doing this for you, because it's like, I really don't. It's like, it's weird, like even doing an interview, you interviewing me. I know, right? And like, it's like weird. So I'm just like, kind of nervous. Like all these people looking at me. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. So I'm just like, I'm a little nervous. Why? I don't know, it's like weird. Like, they just look me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna get into you going to jail. Like, how was the experience? And like, how did it mentally affect you? So when I was in jail, I did 15 months. And my first six, six months was very, very hard. Um, I didn't really go outside that much. I didn't really want to talk to people that much. Cause like we had a big, like a, that was like our breakout moment. So a lot of people would be like, that is her, that is her. So I really didn't never want to go outside. And then I think like after my six months, it, it kind of got easy. And it was just like, start feeling like school a little bit. Cause I started getting used to my surroundings. But my first six months was like very, very hard. Cause I had to get used to not having, well, I had makeup in there, but not the makeup that we have. And I had no weave. So it was like a big, big transition. You basically get in control every single day, like get up, go to sleep. And then, cause of who I was, some guards felt like I gotta show this bitch. Like, you know, just used to be being mean. So it was just like a transition, basically. So people feel like you real bitchy. They feel like you rude, you mean to your fans. I like, am. do you? I'm just playing over. <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel like that's like, like prison, like, like have like a effect on that or it's like do it have I, like guarding really, close then or i really don't think that i'm bitchy though i think that people just can't take me i don't think that i'm bitchy i don't think that i be being a bitch at all like i feel like everybody from different places like if somebody from texas say something to me i'm not raised in texas so i probably think it's rude but i think it's normal there and you know like miami people are like kind of aggressive like you know like certain words we say like even when we came out we damn near canceled for everything we said but it's normal in miami right. so i feel like i'm i'm not a bitch i'm just i just don't play that shit. like i don't even know y'all y'all be saying the weirdest shit to me and i'm gonna stand up for myself i think i think what it is is like we're a group and i'm real like bubbly <laughs> yeah. and you more the serious one so it come off like you real bitchy but I think you is real serious. You think that? You a serious person. I'm a serious person. I don't think I'm a serious person. I probably is. A, if y'all think I'm a serious person, I'm a serious person. I just don't. I, okay, I'm a serious person. My mama a serious person. Like, it's like my mama like real serious. Like, I say something to my mama and she, I'm like, damn, bitch, why the fuck you so serious? Yeah, I feel like not serious, no but you like a type of person that I don't play. Like, you ain't go, like, I'll take something right. Like, bitch, you joking. You more of like, Bitch, don't play me. Yeah. yeah, I feel like, yeah. Because sometimes people don't be playing, like, a person to put an LOL at the end of something, they really, really mean. Mm -hmm. So you just have to watch people. I be feeling like, is there shade? Like, don't play with me. That's how I be so do you think, like, prison got you guarded? Yeah, because I, when I look at my old Snapchat videos, I wasn't like that. Like, I was real, like, carefree. I, don't, I won't say prison got me guarded. I would say coming out of prison, a bigger platform, like, different opinions. It's not prison. It's like literally different people talking to you. Like imagine a thousand people with a different opinions of you. It wasn't prison at all. Cause when I got out, I thought life was a joke still. I'm getting on live saying what the fuck I want to say. Then the next thing you know, I'm on shade room, yeah. like my third day out. So it's like, that's what really got me kind of thrown off. Like the comments, the people and shit like that. Do you feel like fame change? Like what's important to you? No. I feel like, <clears throat> like, how do you feel about pain? I mean, fame, like, how do you deal with fame? How you feel about it? Do you like being famous? Do it, is it something you enjoy? Like before we started rapping, I always wanted to be famous. Then I feel like when we got famous, I felt like, bitch, mm-mm. 
You know, like you remember when you went to prison, I had my yeah. breakdown and I was like crying. Oh yeah, you see crying. I couldn't hey, take I was it. like, what the fuck is going on now? Damn, I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember. I was. I, and I you remember. would be on the phone hysterical. I was like, girl, she was like, they found your tweets. You said this. I was like, oh, for real? All right, I'm gonna call you right back. I remember that. I was, and it was crying so like, bad at one point. I, I, I thought, like, you know, being famous was fun. You know, like looking up, growing up, you want to be famous. You think being famous is just, you know, what you see, like the glimpse, mm -hmm. the glimpse and clown, but being famous is really hard people in your personal life they always speaking on you so it's like do you like it how do you feel about it i won't let a hater make me feel not blessed about being famous you know like at first i'd be like damn like it's just too much but i'm thankful to be famous like do i like the people that it come with like i feel like our market is very like our market i'm gonna say the city girls market is very like urban and you know, like I type, of, I was one step girl at home cussing bitches out, starting trolling. So, like I'm, a, I'm looking my fans. I feel like, a like it's, of me. I feel like it's not trolling because I feel like, like I was seeing before, like that's just like love and hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a show. Mm -hmm. So when the reunion come, everybody on Twitter and they tweeting. That's mm -hmm. not trolling. You just saying your opinion because you watching the show. You just giving your opinions, okay. and I feel like that's what everybody do. That's mm -hmm. like we going to say. So you saying that's what I was doing at the time. No, I'm, I'm saying I don't feel like it's trolling. I feel right. like it was just being a yeah. normal po person. That's yeah. like, we was watching Love and Hip Hop mm -hmm. and I said something about Jocelyn or just anybody, Stevie J. Whatever I said about him, that's not me trolling. That's just me watching reality TV and that's how I felt. So I felt like whatever you were saying at the time, you felt like a person couldn't rap. You're I'm not. Sure I said some shit. Now we. <laughs> <laughs> Some I said stuff, some shit too. Some of the but stuff I wasn't trolling. It was my opinion, like but it was some of the people. stuff I was just really just like being funny. Like I said some shit about some people, and they really wrote me, and they were like, "Well, damn, why you said that about me?" I was just like, "I don't know." I was just bored. Like it was just funny at the time. Me and my friends, it was a group of us. I'm just the famous one out of the the people that got caught. So I feel like it was based like some of the stuff was basically like if I'm watching awards, like you saying, if I'm watching awards, and I'd be like such and such missed a step like that whole lame as fuck for that then two tweets later you're gonna be like i love this song by such and such yeah because i feel like it wasn't it wasn't as like how they do it now for a reaction because blogs wasn't posting us back in the days right so now they are posting people so people are doing it for a reaction so that is trolling because you know you don't even mean that shit you're just trying to be top comment yeah you're just trying to get a clap back you're or trying to get a reaction yeah. so you can show your friends so i think that's the difference between our twitter era well i'm gonna say my twitter era and their Twitter era, like they really doing it for reaction. I literally was just doing it just to fucking do it. I, I, I just personally feel like us being from Miami, we like real misunderstood, like the way we talk. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like our slang is so different. So when we say stuff, we just like totally just misunderstood. And I just feel like that's kind of what made us stand out as city girls. We yes. was just always different, and we always never gave a fuck about nothing. No, like I was, girl, I said some shit, and I and I go through my Snapchat. A lot of stuff ain't even on the internet. I be going back through my Snapchat when I wanna laugh. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I was so fucking ugly just in the camera, just <laughs> didn't care. Like I was just in the camera, just having a ball, saying what I wanna say, talking about people saying, nigga, you can't come to my house unless you paying my rent. And that's like me not even famous. I ain't even trying to. Go viral. That's really me talking, popping my shit. So yeah, that you right. I know, that's just Miami people. That's all we do. We all, all we do is talk shit, rank and play. Yeah, that's I, like we could fry bitch. When our like, old our old tweets got brought up, and it was like the you know the Haitian shit. And I used to always you know it was like Haitian yeah. play day against Yanks. Yeah, we do that in Miami. Like I I feel like they don't understand. Like Miami Twitter is a different culture. Like that Miami is a very diverse city. So we got different like Haitians, Jamaicans, Cubans. And you know the Haitians is real big in Miami. They damn yeah, near so took they over. Like they took so over, they, they so took they, over. So the they used to always come they on sell. there and, and get on there and be like, "Y'all Yanks broke as fuck," and we would be like, "Y'all, you know, like, yeah, like this ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, no other state. This is some this just some Miami shit. shit. It ain't yeah. that we hate. Like I love all cultures. Like, but it's just us like ranking each other, just going back and forth, playing the whole time. These people got kids together, right? Americans and Haitians in in Miami. They the got whole kids. whole Miami got kids. <laughs> baby, but the Haitian, like, like the, the Haitians are cool. Like, if you, it's your first lick, right? Definitely in Miami. If you gotta, like, the girl. See, I, I me personally, I never um, slept without my race outside. Me I'm either. talking about my race. We all black. I'm so stupid. I'm saying like I never slept with like nobody other than um, Af like American. Me neither. Is I'm American. <laughs> Oh my god. 
I don't know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you African, like you never slept with like a Haitian, a Jamaican, a Cuban, a Cuban a, me like neither. a Mexican, a white man. Yeah, because I, I they never, upbringings be different. Like, like I be so scared. Like, I, I'm not like I don't have nothing against it, but I just was like, I just never, never tried it. Yeah. I ne like I never tried it. Well, all my friends tried it. Like, and they 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 liked it. They they never want to go back. They say like men up like foreign men treat women better than. Is we foreign? I don't understand. If is you we, ever want to try a race, what race would you try? If I ever want to try a race, girl, oh my god, y'all gonna get this whole podcast. <laughs> I don't want to try no race. <laughs> I don't want to try no race. I don't want to try no race. But I never wanted to try race. I but if no I race. had to try a race, I think that I'm, I'm ain't gonna be boring. I'm gonna stay with the race. I will try. I will probably. You can't. Try. You can't honestly say. It just depends on the person. If you I like think them. I would try Jamaican. Jamaican? I don't know. Is Jamaican? Jamaican? They got good food, art sales and stuff. I don't know. Like I'm thinking about shots. Like it shot I'm thinking, us, when I movie. think about, I ain't even gonna say what I think about. <laughs> I think oh, about so when you think about it, man, you just think about something totally different. I'm thinking about the movie Shots, like the men that was in Shots. It's like, I would date like uh, a Jamaican. But no, I won't date a Jamaican. But if a gun was to my head and we was like, captured, and they say, pick a race. <laughs> <laughs> pick a race. 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 <laughs> but no, baby, I don't want a Jamaican. What you think is like the most misunderstood thing about you? Like what people don't know about you? Like what's something that people don't look, know about you? Because uh -huh. I know what's something people don't know about you. What? I want to see if you're going to say it, and I'm going to say it after you say it. Bitch, I'm funny as fuck. <laughs> no, I think everybody know that. I think I'm not. I think I'm so nice. I don't know. I don't know why people don't think I'm nice. I think I'm nice. I don't know. Like, I, okay, the thing that I don't think that people know about me is I'm a freak. For real? Yeah. See, I you ain't know, know that. that. See? I ain't know that. See? Yeah. What's the freakiest thing you ever did? Then? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> since you're a freak, because I, I feel like I'm a freak. So since I'm finding out you're a freak for the first time, oh, Carisha, please. <laughs> What's the freakiest thing you ever did? Cause I never, I never oh, got that. From I don't. You. I, I, okay, let me think of the freaky, freakiest thing I ever done. Wait for you a freak. Yeah, girl, how you think my man don't leave the house? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think. It ain't nothing too out of this thing. I ain't never ate. No okay, ass you know I want to know what like. What like is, nah, that's far. I, 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 I just caught like three of my friends. The other day, and I'm like, what's a freak? Because people, niggas be like, you ain't no freak, or they be like, that hoe is a slut. So, like, what's a freak? I think a freak and a slut is two different things. Mm -hmm. So, what's a freak? I think a freak is just like down for whatever, like with your person. Me. A slut is just like a bitch who do it with everybody. Like, they just don't care. What, you know what? But we be like, I want you to slut me, slut out. me out. Right. But you want your man to slut you out. You a freak with your man, but you want your man to treat you like a slut. I think. Like, yeah, like, okay, the hoe. Like a bitch. Like the yeah, hoe like, that you slut just me fuck out. the right. shit out of. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, slut that you me will, out. That you won't do to your bitch. You will do slut, it to a slut. Slut. Right. Slut me out. Mm hmm So, like, how many, like, throw kids you think you got? Girl, I have like a Camilla's house, like an adoption <laughs> home. Like, oh, shit. Like, it's a village. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. I don't, I don't have throat kids because I don't like. You don't like that? I, see, okay. Yeah, like, see? That's, right. one, that's one thing about me. I don't like that. Like, Why? if you do that, you will never get your dick sucked again. Why? I hate the taste of it. It's so warm and it tastes like bleach. Like, I just hate. Mm -mm. I think that it has I like it, taste. like, on I my think face. That, I think that. On my body. Anywhere on my body part, but it's just not my mouth. I think it depends. It depends on, like, the mood. Like, I don't want I it in my mouth was every mood. day. I never was I in don't want it in my. I don't want it in my mouth every day. No, I, I do. don't. Oh, I'm saying like a dick in my mouth. You want a dick in your mouth every day? Yeah. I'm saying I don't want nut in my mouth every day. Yeah. Ugh. Like no, I, I want it on an occasion when I'm feeling like. So you really a freak? Yeah. You really yeah. Mhm. Mm I'm starting to see it. Yeah, girl. I ain't gotta tell nobody. It's like 
a secret between me and my man. What about you, Seth, honey? I don't give freak, you know. No, I'm saying, like, you know. What? You got, like, throat kids, so you, like, like in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Santana. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. Please. Don't be classy for the camera. I'm not being classy for the camera. I just don't. I don't. But Santana always be. No, for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. Santana always try to give, like, Virgin Mary. Because you know, I don't do that. Like, that's always been him. So I believe him. Boom. Yeah. You like being slutted out? No. So you just don't like sex? So wait. So wait. Like how is you? Like, so like, like when you, like when you got a man and you're dating, what is your sex life? Like what do we consist of? Yeah, like with a nigga. Like, you know, y'all just go together. So y'all just, you know, you do whatever with you. I feel, the same, I feel the same way as JT as far as like, because she don't get me freaky. Neither, but it give me like if I go with a nigga, like that's my boyfriend. Yeah, give slut out. So you get nothing in your mouth. I have before. <laughs> I feel like I feel like with me, I when when I didn't never have, I didn't never like lose my virginity till I turned eighteen. So for a long time, I was just eating dick. Like I was Ooh, just sucking. Tell what's eating dick. <laughs> No, I really like, want to know. It's like, I don't know. Because, you know, to each his own, like, what is eating dick? Because I be going to, I want to eat a dick, but I need to know, like, from your perspective, I don't know. I, man, it's, what's eating dick? It's, I don't know. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. But it's just like, I don't know just as far as being Like, freaky. make it disappear? Like, just, you ain't never just, like, ate a dick? I don't like, know. Like, if you That's eat something, it don't you. come back. I, like, you I chew it like, like, I know I could suck a mean dick, but I don't know if I you ate never a ate dick. One. I don't think I ever ate a dick. Like, I... I could suck dick now. I'd be crying and snot, mm-hmm. but oh, is wow. that eating dick? That... I don't know. Like, it's a lot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite sex position? Missionary. I hate that. That uh, person on top of you, right? Mm. What's your favorite position? Missionary. For real? I like missionary. I, I just love to feel like somebody's just making love to me. I don't know why. Like looking you in your eyes. You don't even have to really be looking at me. Saying pretty. No, you don't even have to do all that. You just be on top. He don't even have to do all that. You speaking from experience? Me? Like, yeah. That's what be... missionary give me. It just give me slow looking you in your eyes. No. That's sometimes they, they heavy, that's, right? I'm just saying that. That's yeah. what, Every time I like, have tried missionary, that's what it gives. Like, you want to make love to me, look me in my eyes, tell me how pretty I am. And uh-huh. I just like to get fucked. Like, I'm a slut. I like to just, like, mm-hmm. you'll get doggy style. Mm-hmm. Real bad. Doggy style. Bang, you like that? Bang, bang, bang. I like doggy style. I like to start from the front and end from the back. You know how to make it clap? Yeah, girl, I'm thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a shot, shot a clap. So, um, you know. How you feel about people calling you Princess of Rap? Santana called me there. No, I saw some tweets saying mm-hmm. I got it off of TikTok. Oh, um, how do I feel about people calling me Princess of Rap? Because I really, really, really like you, one of my favorite rappers in this I, generation. I agree with In this Princess generation, rap. like every time be, when mm-hmm. we do a song and you see your verse back, I'll be like, I'm waiting on her. And yeah, I don't know. I didn't know people was calling me that. And no, for real. I, saw I don't even. Like, I, I just, I feel like both of us is the same way when it comes to, like, even the industry. I think we just enjoy it. Like, I don't kind of be, I'm not competitive. I don't care. Like, even when I know, like, some, like, a lot of people that rap, I just be feeling like it's so whack. Like, I'll call Santana, I'll be like, Santana, that was so dry. Like, mm-hmm. what type of rap was that? Like, but I'm not in it for no competition. Like, I don't care who's being called the princess rap. I don't care, like, about nothing, really. I'm just blessed to be here. So, I know that I'm tired of it. I know I'm good at it, but is I'm trying to go for a title? No. Like, I, I, I think the people that's thinking they got the title sucks. And it's like, <laughs> no, it's just all I think I think that that answered my question for JT because me being um, her friend and knowing her deeper than what the, what the, like, internet sees, she's very talented. And it's like, I'm always like, JT, why you won't, bitch? Go to the radio interview and rap. 
He want me to go, go. and like he be so mad. He be like, I want you to do this. I want you to get on there and do that. And I be like, I be telling her that baby, too. I'm like in a coop. I'm here to just get my job and go. Like I'm just not trying to go out there in no braids. But and, why? And you on. do it so good. Yeah, like it's like it's it's like I, I think like... that after our next album, because what we naming it, that's when I'ma prove. You get what I'm trying to say? Because it's just like a trolling thing. What we naming the album? So then it's like, okay, step on bitches. I really had no time to really even step on bitches for real because I've been in prison my whole career. And then when it was time to like get out, it's like, we already signed. You get what I'm saying? It's not really like upload what you want or upload the song that you like. You gotta put out what they think is going to please the crowd. Cause if I had, if, if I had a choice of the style of rap I would do, you know what type, y'all know what type of style rap I do. So it's definitely not always what we put out. Just even, I think, it's like as far as being creative, like with Throat Baby, mm -hmm. how she just bust out singing. Mm -hmm. It's some people that would have never thought, like would have never thought of that shit or just would have <laughs> yeah. never. And they was like, take it off. Take it off now. <laughs> they was like, what the fuck did you just do? Take it off. And I was, and they was like, just keep rapping. You can just say, I supposed to only said the part with like my throat crazy. I only supposed to say that two mm -hmm. times and went back to rapping. And I was like, no, that's so boring. I'm just, I just want to be free with my music. Like mm -hmm. leave me the fuck alone. And I left it and I thought I sounded like Ariana Grande. I don't know what <laughs> they thought I sounded like, but bitch, I thought I sounded good. And they was like, take it off, cut it, cut it. But it was, um, we are cast on. So, Mm -hmm. It wasn't nothing nobody could do about it. So it got it, it like all my verses that I love so much is like my biggest verses. Yeah. My opinions, like of my heart down creative, what I think, what I think a song should be, is the biggest verses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, basically us, you know, talking about your unreleased talents and all that, what give what gives you like the just the attitude of you don't really care about um you know a lot of stuff you just feel like you know it's your job you come do your job and go home what get what just make you feel like that sense of attitude because i feel like there's so many things that you could do as far as you know you're a trend you're a trendsetter you know you started wearing rick owens a lot of um people myself included didn't we we didn't know about this stuff so we seen you in it People picked up on it. People, you did the um, colorful rainbow nails. Everybody was on the internet uploading their nails, shit like that. So I'm like, I feel like it's so much, um, so many things, brand deals, so many different opportunities that you could have as being your own individual person. So why do you just feel like I get my racks and I shut up? Kind of, you know, kind of like an attitude. I mean, soft life. You know, like just, I just don't really like to be bothered. Mm -hmm. I just like to relax, chill, enjoy life. I done been through a lot. Like, I don't be feeling like the rah-rah all the time. Like, in a lot of, like, contracts come with obligations. Like, mm -hmm. you get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. and then I just be feeling like whatever. Like, I feel like I'm blessed. Like, I live a good life. But am I going to tap more into, like, that? Yes, I will. Like, when the time is right. And I like everything to be perfect. Like, I probably be working on something for a year. And then I put it out because I just want it to be right. Like, I'm a perfectionist at literally damn near everything. I can, one minute I want to start this business, and the next, the next week I'm not in that space. It's a Sagittarius thing. Like, mm. one week I'm working out, the next I want a fucking food truck. <laughs> like, you're <laughs> selling motherfucking burgers and fries. You get what I'm trying to say? So, mm. it's just hard, like, trying to pinpoint it. What else, Santana? What's up? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was my question. Uh, Y'all so professional today. What's up? That, that, was my, that was my question. Just I feel like just being your friend and seeing like even earlier when, you know, she feeling like she feel like she not bitchy. JT is very bitchy, but I know sweet JT, I know could pick up the phone and cur like encouraging like it, with JT being a serious friend, just like I, I could call JT about serious stuff. And stuff that other people people will be like, well, she would if she like that. I'm like, she a sweetheart, a sour patch, you know. Sour because I be want the best for y'all. Like I don't want y'all to think I'm a bitch, but I'm I'm just gonna be the one. I'm just not gonna ever tell y'all y'all right when y'all wrong. Mm -hmm. Like you get what I'm saying? I'm gonna always be like Santana, like you wrong now, but 
you should do this. Like, I want you to take over this lane. Like, I got this idea for you, but mm -hmm. I don't even care to have the credit for it. Or you get what I'm trying to say? I ain't gonna never jump on the internet and be like, nigga, I told you. Like, nah, but I'm gonna always make sure, like, behind the scenes. Like, yeah. a lot of people be like, why she ain't never there? It's like, because I don't have to be. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? It's like, I'm gonna send it to y'all phone. Like, hey, you should do this, Carisha. Or Santana, you should do this. Or like, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick up her feelings and I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm not gonna get too much of all. I'm gonna stand back because I know if I'm there, it's gonna kind of yeah. be bad, you know? So, how you feel about people feeling like we always leaving you left out and you never there? I don't give a fuck. Y'all don't leave me. Y'all leave me left out. No, I'm saying that's I think what, that, they, that's I think what that, they say in the comments. In the comments, they say that. I, I feel like I don't, I don't wanna be around because, like, I don't wanna be around. Because I take everything too personally. You mm -hmm. get what I'm trying to say? Like, y'all both can walk that way. I'm going to be like, what the fuck y'all? Weird as fuck. Yep. Like, you know I'm texting so why? phones. I don't know, because it's weird as fuck to me. Like, like why the fuck is y'all doing that? Like, if you know that you're going this way, say you're going this way, don't go this way and leave me that way, because then I'm going to be feeling some type of way about it. So just to keep the problems down, I'll be like, Is oh. that a Sagittarius thing? No, that's a real bitch thing. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. but like what, it's like that's just don't do it like it's just like it's coming but if everybody walking to the left not why not walk to the left no you never secretly walking to the left oh. and i'm just sitting there like if i'm sitting there, i'm thinking that okay we waiting to go for example texas to dinner Boom. out to eat if i'm thinking that we waiting to go out to eat i'm waiting to go out to eat i'm not waiting for you to go in there and make a TikTok to gotta move on and you to Go. I did say I was going upstairs. Yeah, and you I, to sneak I was off making, I was because I'm downstairs. thinking, I'm thinking that this is a group effort. And I look mm -hmm. up Santana gone. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on around? I'm sitting at lobby by myself, and I'm like, oh, these bitches is weird. So I go to the restaurant, and I'm sitting at the table. The people ask me what you want to order, what you want to order, and it's like two but, seconds. To but close I'm, the I'm for real. I'm gonna jump in. I had pissed. I said I'm going upstairs to change my yes. clothes because I didn't want to eat and in my car. I costume. had to go get all my shit out of the car and I said, I'm finna go bring this upstairs to Carisha room because I'm at y'all hotel, not at mine's. Oh. Sagittarius right here. Fuck everybody. I'm out. Y'all left me at I dinner. was gone. I was at Kane's <laughs> eating chicken tenders when them bitches called me. <laughs> they said, Oh, we at the restaurant. I said, I'm at Kane's. I'm eating chicken tenders. <laughs> it's done. Like, I, I, I don't have But it wasn't time. that no more. I wasn't mad. I was. That's the problem. I'm never mad. It's just like I'm just gonna. It, that's that's. I'm glad you said that. I'm never mad. Like I don't be mad at so, all. So when well, you just cuss us I just, out, I'm, just I'm not be, mad. I'm just gonna cuss you out real quick. Like no, a dog I'm not mad. Then, you a fucking weirdo. Like that's what I'm gonna say. I'm like you being fucking weird. But I ain't mad. I'm just letting you know you being fucking weird. Like. I ain't mad. You should be mad that you being fucking weird. Like, what I'm mad for? Like, no. no. Why you being weird to me? Nobody know, never. Like, weird. why you being weird? To we me? don't be being weird. I think you just got in your head that we weird. Uh huh. That's yeah. what I said. Is it a Sagittarius thing? Cause you, I feel like. I feel like you don't like hanging with us. Cause you know why? I, I feel like we more twerking on the couch. We loud. Like we we, we be right. You like why y'all so loud? You like bitch. We loud. We with the vibes. The vibes. You you. I don't say you not with the vibes, but mm. our vibes is different from you. Like yeah. I'm gonna shake my ass. But I'm gonna take shots. And but mm -hmm. it's so that's why JT is such a interesting person because I could do both. She does that. Yeah, she like does I that. could be listening, but talking. I don't want you recording me doing it. Yeah, and you get I, what I'm trying to say. Like, I, that's, I why, just, that's why I said I get when I'm like, we know her because I was just talking to my boyfriend earlier. He was like, I remember when she said in Atlanta, it was always you and her, me and her, JT, and then I got her throwing ass in the apartment, all that. Like, like I we still hopped out, we had the mall, hop out, hop outside at the mall, she hop out, ah, ah, ah. I'm like, yeah, I so still, she I'm still that. that way. Like, it's Mentally, just, part of the Mitch party, we had a fucking ball. It was only me and JT. Yeah, I could go in some anywhere and have a ball. I just feel like, I'm like that with everybody. I'm like that with all my friends. They be like, bitch, why is you so serious? I be like, calm down, like relax. <laughs> but it don't be that. I, I think that it's the time, to, like if you get me drunk fast enough, then it's a party. But if I'm sober. I personally love the drunk JT. Sober JT, I cannot deal with JT. Me and JT will argue all day. Yeah, cause you be loud. You be like, yeah, cause I be like, yo, I'm right here. Like don't get, don't let her be drunk and I'm so, sober. Like, no, I think that's anybody though. That's like when you walk into a room. That's. Chris should be like, like, I'm not fucking loud. Like I'd be like, yes, you is. You loud. I think that's. I think that it gets too many juices. That's just like us. I do not be loud. I swear to God. I you swear. don't get me loud. She always irritated. Yeah. JT always irritated. She come in irritated, so I can be like, so, JT, you look cute. She be like, what? What you drunk? No, bitch, you look cute. You look cute. Irritated. That's her. Yeah. 
Because people is irritating. The world is irritating. Okay, so what's something I do that irritate you? Everything. <laughs> Wait, let me put it out of my back pocket. It's a long list, bitch. <laughs> um, I feel like you're not a passionate person. Like, like I'm not. You not like you don't know how to show your appreciation. I f- that's an Aquarius thing. Like Aqu- Aquarius, that's we, irritating. We mm-hmm. just like I won't say we emotionless, but we don't. I don't know how to like say I love you. Like I don't know how to say it, bitch. You know I love you. Mm-hmm. Like you know I I, I don't. You can bring commercial learning. I'm gonna bring Corey to the gym. She's gonna walk out. She's gonna be like, what a surprise. Like, uh huh. Uh-huh. And you have to know no, how. No, but you, I, I think I somebody like... has to know you to know that. Cause I just, it was so funny. I didn't, it, it really went over my head because I know her. I just bought Carisha a new Dior purse. She was like, oh my God, excuse me, she recorded it. She did like this. <laughs> that was... Yeah, that is so like... her. That is so like, her. Girl, that purse is 6000 I ain't fucking you. I feel like. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> but I knew, but I knew, and I knew as a friend, like, I she knew. She don't know how to give a reaction. Yeah. I, don't, I think it be in her head. Yeah, that's what I said. It's like, because I knew as a friend I that she liked it, she appreciated it. No, I got to tell y'all this story. I've literally struggled to get to Carisha's birthday. Like, it was like five planes. I literally went to Atlanta. I don't know what happened. I had to end up going to New York. Then I had to end up I remember I was on getting on a connected flight when I got to motherfucking. Puerto Rico, it was five planes, literally. So we walk inside. Did he like, wait, 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 don't walk in yet. So I'm like, what's going on? Surprised me that JT was coming because they all told me she wasn't coming. So he's like, wait, 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 don't walk in yet. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna stand outside, like, I'm gonna wait. Girl, I get there. <laughs> so he like, come in, it's your first surprise. And so they walked in, Krisha looking at me, and I'm looking at her. <laughs> And we just looking at each other. And she looking like, oh. So now Diddy feel like, kind of like, what the fuck is wrong with her? Like, what the fuck is wrong with Carisha? Because he thinking it's going to be a surprise moment, but she in her head really waiting on some, something else. Uh-huh. So, like, you just don't really know how to show, like, like That's not true, emotion. Though. And that's, I don't feel like that's true. I always show emotion with you. I don't think so. You looked just like your mama when you just did it. But no, I don't think so. I really I don't know. I don't think that you really, I think that you show like quiet. I don't know. I can't really pinpoint it, but it's that. So what I do that get on your nerves? Um Nay. N- I love Krisha. The only thing that Krisha um, do that get on my nerves is about a man. I always have to get into it with her men and that hoe do like this. Cause get out there. Because I all every time I, every time I'm into it with I do the same thing for her. When I'm into it with y'all, when I'm into it with, about y'all, I get out there. Carisha, you will learn. <laughs> she gonna turn on you about a nigga, so I should just mind your business. But like, if you do mind your business, so she's still like, like if just, you, well, when you mind better, she like, why you ain't say nothing? I know. Like me personally, no, I want JT to do me. Can you please, for Carisha, please, can you please in person? Oh my me? God, this is something. JT, I'm done, like, for real, because it ain't giving, like, I'm finished, like, I'm telling you, this time, it, I'm focused on my career, like, mm-hmm. bitch, you know, Miami, the fuck I look like? Two seconds later, I'm so in love, like, mm-hmm. this man made me feel so good, like, <laughs> if you be happy, I don't you know, so I be just be like, so now, you ain't getting a reaction out of me no more, because you done motherfucking took me on this roller coaster 50 gazillion times uh-huh. about a man, like, nobody wants to be going from... He got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he got me fucked up. Like what I look, I be like on the phone, just like, hold on, is you listening? Like I'm listening, but I hear you, mm-hmm. but I don't hear you. Like you wanna know what's my favorite thing about you? What? My favorite thing about you? What? One thing I love about JT, I could call JT before I could even get the sentence out. I was like, JT, for real, she like that motherfucking bitch. Da, da, da. Like she always I be mad. I be mad at him. That's why I be like, just don't tell me, cause she'll be back. Like it was. I be like, Carisha, you with that bitch? No, she be she like, be like girl, yeah, the girl said it ain't even really was like that. But I be so mad. Oh my god, mm. remember we used to just fight that lady in the club? Mind you, we was just for the fight a lady in the club together, right? No. <laughs> Carisha is so slow, right? I was staring at the lady first because I thought I was looking at her like, bitch, what's wrong with you? Like, 
Like, just really trying to figure out what's wrong. She yelling and screaming, but I really was trying to pinpoint the problem. Like, why are you yelling and screaming? Like, before I beat your ass, I want to make sure I'm beating your ass for a reason. Or is you right? Krisha jumps in front of me. Because I'm telling you, da, 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 like, so now I'm feeling like I got to fight the lady because Carisha done already did the most. Why me and the lady are hard down arguing? I look back, Carisha <laughs> sitting down. Mm -hmm. no. Dead ass still. I was like, bitch. No. She said, I looked too stupid when I got up, JT. I couldn't do it. I almost fell at everything. No, <laughs> what, what happened was the lady was like doing her big one on us. Like Come she on. was like, for real. So JT just sitting there. But I know why JT just sitting there looking at her like I'm looking at her like, why is so she yelling? So I'm hoarse. I'm hoarse. I'm like, bitch, how you talking to her? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could hear me. So I get up and try to hit the lady and fail. I said, you know what? I look too stupid. So now at this point, her JT going in. I'm sitting there like this and tell her. I'm like, bitch, but the lady was so scared because she knew I was dead. So I said, bitch, shut the fuck up. I don't even talk no more. She was like, you know what? I'm sorry. You right, queen. But we need to sit together. I said, bitch, shut the fuck up. Matter of fact, get from over here. Uh-huh. Like, it was just bad. Oh, my God. Don't don't get in it. Don't just, just. I be mad. No, she be I'm going to still ride for her regardless. Mm -hmm. But I'm the bitch. Just don't say, tell me nothing. Because I'm going to be I'm gonna be serious to the end of the the bus out, it's over. Oh, you don't follow that bitch no more, unfollow. Yeah, that that's why I ain't gonna lie. I can't never tell JT without, because I'm the type of person, I won't like you today, tomorrow, today, but I'll be your best friend tomorrow, and then JT be like, I'll be like, she be like, this gotta be a joke. Uh -huh. i be like, no, JT, because for real, like, you know, it was You can't me. be like that. Them, them girls is so, like, that girl is so nice. Like, it was just a misunderstanding. I, as soon as she tell me she don't fuck with a bitch, yeah. they unfollowed off my page. I ain't gonna, it don't even be having nothing to do with me. I'll be the first bitch gone, like, bye. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Don't even talk to me. Don't even look my way. Like I just, I just can't. It's okay, so everybody knows Santana wasn't at my birthday party because everybody kept talking about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I don't want to yeah. find out Santana is safe to talk about. Can you talk about it? Can you talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Because so, I don't even know how, how to how the fuck yeah. I got involved. Okay, so what happened was the sex tape came out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Santana, it was a Santana. Like, oh yeah, let's make that so, clear. The sex tape of the person that looked like Santana, because I knew from a jump it wasn't you. Mm -hmm. But what I was trying to, I was being funny because I thought you was a funny guy. Mm -hmm. But you a funny guy when you feel like it. And I said, After you the look fact, good as fuck. I understood where he was coming from when he broke it down to me. But me and Santana never serious. You know that. Yes. It's 24 hours in a day. We don't. We always say nobody be playing with us. Nobody so playing with us. I never had like a, you know, like me and you get into it all the time. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. argue. I be like, one thing about JT, she gonna block me. Uh -huh. That bitch yes. gonna cuss me you out so bad. I had, oh my God, I'm gonna tell y'all. Oh, I had Before JT went to jail. Man, me and JT be, we be right here next to each other beefing. Like, we ain't gonna say it to each other. Oh, I done seen that plenty of times. When, when we all first, like, came, when we all first became friends, we in the club, and it's like a thing, like, you know, they make you pick what you want to do. Like, I'm 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 Okay. No, we'll make you pick. Yes, I do. No, yes, no, I do. Don't. Yes, no. I do. I, I don't, I don't, one thing, and, and one thing I'm going to get directly to the camera. I don't care who's side. I'm going to stand on my shit. No, y'all going to stand on it. Like, but y'all going to do little shit like, they get like, bitch, come on. We, we, uh, no, bitch, that's just on, your messy sense is pink. No, it's bitch. not. I know. But, it, but, it, but, it, but that means, okay. what does that mean? It's Carisha. Cause that's no, on, me, bitch, out. But that's on silver. Oh, my God. That's a good one. No, no, no. I'll be over there. No, no. I'll be over there. That's on silver. No, this going to be to JT, the serious one. That bitch going to be over there. But y'all be over there, do 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 do. Cause I'm waiting for the war. She make it clap, clap, clap. <laughs> so you feel bomb. like you gotta come over there with me, cause I'm having a ball. But you want to go over there and be like, JT, you all right? Nah. You so ain't, now you uh, feel like you gotta pick a side. That's what, cause we, I would sisters. say we never make nobody pick a side. Mm -mm. I feel like y'all. Cause know. one thing about it, me and JT, we laugh about this all the time. We gonna turn every we time. Turn. No, we could fall. We we dead ass hate each other. But bitch, if you come and say something, we go turn on you. So we turn on everybody. Yeah, it's, it's we so laugh about it's it. sad. Like we everybody be saying it. it. Like mm -hmm. they be like, cause it, it's just sad. But I had Carisha blocked by the man before. Mm -hmm. By her baby daddy. Huh, her baby daddy got a tour when I first got out of jail. Her baby daddy called me a bitch and everything. Remember? Called, cussed me out because <laughs> I was looking for Carisha. I said, I said, where the fuck is Carisha? He said, bitch, don't text my phone. <laughs> Block my number. I'm looking for Carisha. She just texts me some crazy shit. I'm, I'm, I'm texting, texting my, my message. Yeah, going just through. got out. I just got out. Got in a bunch of shit with this bitch already. It mm. literally was that. It's always me. It's she always, always her and about me. So now that. I'm mad as fuck. I'm like, oh, he got you fucked up. 
it's over with. I think her mom, that Ken was in prison. I, I wrote Ken. I, I had sent out a PSA. Chris, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I look up. Dave was in 11 together or something. She tried to hide him. I think Tyrus <laughs> uploaded him by mistake. And well, not even by mistake. Tyrus just uploaded the party. Yeah. I said. See, this is when I used to take it personally. Now I won't block her by no means because I just know that's how she is. What I mean? No. What I'm saying is me and JT argue all the time. Mm -hmm. What she's going to do, she's going to get her point across and then she's going to block you. Mm -hmm. Me and JT got a twist. So, baby, remember it was Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. We was in a, um, I remember we was like in the Sprinter. Nuki is my witness. Me and JT going at it so bad. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, bitch, ho, you selfish. Da, 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 da. But we like, she in the back seat. She cussed me out so bad when I went to text her back, I was blocked. Oh, yeah. Because it's over with. Whatever could have happened, could have happened right there. I don't want to hear about it tomorrow. But why we do that? We'll be sitting know. right here and won't Ooh, say that when no, we Carisha, be No, because Carisha is so spiteful and like an earthy. Like, whatever she thinks. that I, When I tell anybody about Carisha, they come to me and be like, Carisha saw me. I be like, no. She just wants you to like, she like to ruffle your feathers. Like, she just love it. So, if you act like you just ain't paying attention, then I learned that years 15 years later, like, later, like, I'd be like, girl, please. But we was in um, New York doing a press when we first came out. And at the time, LMA booed up was out. And she just thought she, about a man. She thought she was in love with this man. And I hated this man for her. Like, I hated it. I didn't you hate all my men. I don't. I hated him. Okay. You know why I hated him. Mm -hmm. And I ain't going to say You was right. I was very right. I just, I just hated him for you. I just knew you could do better. But booed up was out. So her and Capri in the car, and they just trying to get on my nerves. Nah, -uh, like, that was my song. You got something because I was no, singing the and song. I'm going to say, I ain't going to say this, the person, but you said a song was, it was somebody dropped the song that day, and the artist is big now. And Carisha wanted to be, boo, I can't wait, no, boo, boo, up, boo, up. Like, just keep singing in my ear, huh, Capri. So I'm like, this song just dropped, I want to hear this. She said, girl, that stupid ass fucking song. And it's like one of the biggest songs now. Yeah. But she was like, this stupid ass fucking song. I was like, I don't want to hear that. So now me and Carisha in the in the car, the driver driving, we over the man's head, slamming the radio. Both of us keep slamming. She snatching my Oscar, because I think Sam was Oscar. I pressing the radio. She snatching it out. She pressing the radio. But guess who the first bitch is here? Yeah. She texts coach. I'm in the car fucking with her. Da -da 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 -da. I get out. I don't know what's going on because I ain't even say nothing. I'm getting out. Everybody looking at me like I'm the bad guy. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck happened? She read it. Like, one thing about it, I, I keep the, the, okay, so the beat that's in. Everything about it being with me. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about you and your man. Oh. So you in love now. So people always be like, oh, you ain't no city girls because you in love. How does it feel to be properly love now? Like, how does it feel to be in love? Because I feel like love is so important. Um, I could say this is my first time being in love. Like, I'm a, like, oh, my God, I can't talk. But this is my first real time being in love. Like, oh, you better cry. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna cry. But this is my first time really being in love, living with my man, waking up with somebody day to day. You know, like let somebody see you without your wig, let somebody see you without your makeup, taking a shower, let somebody see your dirty drawers. Like, you know, just everything. So this is my first real relationship, and it's good. Like, I'm gonna say, like, me and Uzi is both fire signs, mm -hmm. so we both are crazy, and it works. Like. We got a big house, so it, we we literally, I, if we not getting along, he'll go downstairs and play the game, and I'll go in the room, or I'll go outside. I got dogs. I love my dogs. I just cater to my dogs, and, so, and then we'll just get up the hump, and then by the night, we, we wrapped up like pretzels, mm -hmm. and it's just like, it just works. I feel like this is my first time being properly loved. Like, oh my God. He loved me so much, and I love him so much, but mm -hmm. like sometimes, like, why you love me so much? He just love me so much. He care about what I think, how I feel, like what time I'm leaving, if I like this or like anything, like he don't always come to me first and be like, did I do this right? Or did I, I'm like, yeah, you doing good. Like, you know, like, mm -hmm. it's just like, we like best friends. That's my best friend. Like we can really go anywhere together. Like he mm -hmm. waiting on me right now. <laughs> like I feel like he bring out the best in you and I like that. Like I feel like when I had Saya um, on the 4th of July, Mm -hmm. And it, it was just like the small stuff, like the fireworks. Mm -hmm. And I just love that because people feel like, you know, like materialistic things is what make a relationship. And mm -hmm. I feel like he bring out the best in you. And 
Yeah, I feel, I honestly feel like he did the materialistic shit already. Like, I know for a fact that he would buy me anything. He's, he buy me shit every day. Like, every he, day. Like, he don't buy himself nothing when I buy me nothing. And I, it was the point I would upload it all the time. But I don't get it But that's for me what made me feel like even though she in a relationship and properly love, she's still a city girl. Like, he just got on stage and was like, Every day is rank, so oh, yeah, another I'm rank, still a, another rank. Another I, rank. feel like, oh, JT ain't no city girl because she no. in love. No, I'm a city girl. Like, 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 my man, man no. Oh, I, oh, this one, I just got one. He just bought me. He just bought me. He just bought me. He literally, like, we literally just, I just got a Birkin. Like, I just got a Birkin. As he should, because the pussy is hitting. The pussy is hitting. But he do. Hold on, 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 <laughs> he do, he literally, like, Uzi do, every, like, any, like, he would do any and everything but me. I just don't, like, flex it no more. Because we live together, like, he pay all the bills. I don't even be caring for him to do, I don't pay a bill. I don't even know what the first of the and month is. And that's real city girl shit. That's real city, city girl, girl shit. shit. That's real city girl like, shit. Like, I don't pay a bill. I don't, I don't pay a bill, like. You put up. I'm put up for but real. But you still a city girl. I'm a city girl, because bitch, who doing that? Bitches just waiting, gotta be checking their calendar on the first and automatic bill paying. A dollar don't yep. need my card on the first. But. Yeah, I'm a, what? Like, yeah, Gray is like, yeah, I'm a city girl for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, for sure. Like, this morning I woke up, I was saying I want room service, but I was slurring my words because I got so fucked up last night. And I was like, I want, and he was like, you want what? I said, relax, room service. Like, <laughs> uh -huh. He already just waiting on me to say what I want, but that's my man, his birthday coming up. And I do, and I, I get Uzi my last dollar, which he would never ask for my last dollar. That's what I mm. love about him, he's such a man. He's not, he's not even caring like what, what's in my account. Or he not, I told him that this morning, I was like, as big as you is, like, you don't need me for anything. Like, it's no, it's like, he don't recoup off of nothing that he does for me. Mm. So I know that it's real love. Like, I know that you really fuck with yeah. me because it's like, this show shit spending and it's no, it's, it's nothing, no ties for real, but mm -hmm. it's like only like love there. You get what yeah. I'm trying to say? Like, do you plan on having kids soon? Like, do you want kids? Because um, you don't got no kids. I, I got two kids. No. I feel like I don't think that we need the kids right now. You get what I'm trying to say? I feel like we just so in love, and I I don't want to split the love up right now. Like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to share my. You don't want to share your bed with your child. No, not right now. That's real shit, I don't want to share my. I, I'm not saying I want to share my man with my child. I just don't want to share the love right now. I don't. I and I'm pretty sure like he gonna have to share me. I'm gonna be a real good mom. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna be one of the mamas that just like I just do the most. I do like most by my dog. First time being in love. This so my first time being in love. So I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Both of us is rappers. Both of us work and um he work hard. Like he in a stage where he just working real hard right now. So somebody gonna have to step down a little bit. Yeah. And I don't think neither one of us really like ready for that. Even though I don't work as hard as he do. But when you I'm work home, hard. Yeah, I do. You do. But I ain't jumping up and down and all of that. Yeah. And when I'm home I wanna watch Martin and I wanna eat in the bed. And I don't feel like it I don't have to because I don't have no kids. So I don't yeah. have to do do nothing. And I don't want us arguing about that, like, oh, you don't wanna get up and make the bottle, you don't wanna do this, and then I don't wanna be going through I'm already a bitch. It's, it's no secret, and I don't want to be pregnant. I mean, not pregnant, but going through that yet, I feel like we both so young. Yeah. Not saying pregnant women are bitches. I don't want y'all to flip that, but I'm just saying, as a woman, we are bitches for what we go through. We go through so much. Our body change, yeah, hormone, our yeah. mind change, our hormones change, and I'm just not ready to put him in that position yet as a young man. He's so young. He living his life. Uzi is still changing the color of his motherfucking hair. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Um, I seen it somewhere. I don't know. How, I don't know where. I didn't, Uzi like 24? No, 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 Uzi 20. 26, he about to be 27. Okay, yeah, I didn't know Uzi was that young. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I didn't just think, I don't know why I just didn't think. Mm -hmm. But. So I explained the rock star. Yeah, just, he is, he is a rock, we like two kids in the house. Mm. Shooting Nerf guns. I can't have my baby in no motherfucking house, so you still wanna shoot me with Nerf guns? <laughs> like. You not a kid though. I'm not. Girl, he be making me so mad. Cause he's like, I'm dead ass serious. I'm trying to look cute and you shooting me up. Like, why? He like, pop, 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 pop. I'm like, yo, relax. Like, <laughs> he is fucking crazy. So, Carisha, have you ever felt like you was ever properly loved? <clears throat> yeah, I do. Um, Before first, or, or recently? Before my first baby daddy. Mm -hmm. He was my first, my first love. 
I feel like we was like friends, like outside our relationship. Mm-hmm. We was like friends. I could have went to him about anything. Like I could have went to him like, how you feel about me dating? How you feel about it? He gonna give me a real raw answer. Like that was my first love, my real love. And I felt like nobody would never ever match the love that he had for me because he, I, I feel like we, we grew up together. Because I grew up together. So it's like, he know me inside and out. Like he know what I'm thinking before I'm thinking. He mm-hmm. like one of y'all, but just, you know, yeah. that was my, I had, like we was going together, we was fucking, but yeah, it's really it was just, love. I feel like with Jai, like the reason I fuck with Jai, still do to this day he did, but I knew how much he loved Quisha. Like He loved me. And I be wanting that for her to this day. You get what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say? Like somebody who just love her as much as Jai, Jai love Quisha. Like he'll call me and he'll be like, sis, don't ever switch out on me. I remember he tried to turn JT against yeah, me. Yeah, like he, he was he, like, fuck Quisha. We going out, JT he, told me the next day. I woke up, I'm like, bitch, you trying to turn yeah, JT against me? I should have never told her. Cause Jai, like I, I had just got out and I was able to hang out and Quisha was like going through something. And Jai was like, JT, I want you to, one thing about Jai, he always wanted me and Carisha to do our, like, flex, like, and I had just got a chain from Elliot, so he wanted me to wear the chain so bad to the office, like, he was like, I want, I want them to see you with your shit on, come on, we finna go out, we finna get a boat, we finna do all that, and I'm like, yeah, because Carisha got me up here at her house, and she lying to me every day, like, every day she'd be like, we finna go out, we finna go out, and then like, we'd never go, so Jai was like, man, fuck her, we finna go out, so I go back and tell Carisha, <laughs> I'm like, girl, Jai said, fuck you, like, you just on, you know, blah, 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 blah. And she went back and told him everything. I said, that's what's like, happening. Why, why would you go to JT and be like, fuck, Carisha, come on, we going out. Like, mm-hmm. bitch, don't do that. But I do feel like I experienced real love. And I feel like I would never find it again. It's so hard to really just find somebody that shit, like, so genuine, love you for you. Like, you just, never going to find it again? I think you will. Like, girl, you're so like, young. Like, what? I'm young, but people don't be genuine. I feel like they do. I feel like, I feel I like. I just don't know. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking for me. Because mm-hmm. I know, like, I feel where I come, like, yeah. you gotta really love me. Because I'm a lot to deal with. Like, I'm <laughs> very bipolar. I but I feel to... like you gotta experience it. I feel like you date slow. I don't date slow. I just don't really like people for real. Yes, I was gonna like, say that. I think it's her. I get aggravated. I would like you today and hate you tomorrow. I could, like, dead ass mm-hmm. be in love with you t- today. If you do something, mm-hmm. I can like. It's but that's me too. That's a Libra. Libras are very indecisive. That's a Aquarius But that's why too, not even y'all as like... being my friends is like Santana. You always is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's another nigga because I'm just always shuffling my cards. See, like, hey, what's what? 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 Like, what's, just, just what's good? Baby? I just feel like for me, like, I, like, if I don't like you, I don't like you. Mm-hmm. It ain't no. I can't. And, and I, can't, I can't make myself. Yeah, I can't like play like you. So. I feel like I'm not just the type of person that's gonna talk to a person she's talk. Like you said, like y'all can be like, you could be dating it. Like I uh-huh. can, but I cannot, I don't wanna get to know you. What's up? You go, she'll tell you that. You go buy me a purse. Uh-huh. Like, I'm straight to the point. So it's like, if I don't yeah. see nothing in you, I don't even wanna. Yeah, I, have to, I don't like, think you give people, I, I, I wanna say, I don't think you give people the chance to love you. And I was at a point in my life like that before. I think it's our background, like where we come from. Like we don't, it took for me to move. Like, I done lived, like, three different motherfucking places. Like, I lived in Atlanta, New York, and now I live in L.A. It takes for you to move to see and open up your yeah. mind. Because when to we come different from, things. Different right. things. All like, used to is the same shit, the same true. type of niggas. And that's why I was like, even though people think Uzi is, like, just out of his mind, he's really not. He's just, he's very Philly. That's so true. Like, he's very Philly, but... I remember the first day Uzi DM'd me and I had shown Carisha and Carisha was like, we, we had our conversation about it. And I'm like, let me just give him a chance or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I always like the people that's like more outside of the box, especially when I got in the industry, if I could choose, I don't want nobody who I could have had when I was like literally growing up. Like I just want to experience new things. Like, mm-hmm. so I think that Carisha just don't really give people a chance. Like, yeah. Like you said, like more so, like on a like it's either now or never. Like you don't give people time to really like, thank you. You don't give people time to like really grow with you or like really show Cause you. Because a, a person can move fast in the beginning and don't be real. Yeah, and it can just slow down abruptly. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just feel like like with me, I don't know. I don't. I just don't want to take my time to get to know nobody. I just. If I don't like you and I don't see it from day one, I just don't even want to pursue it. And it's just like, I don't know. Mm. But you got to give it day two. I, I 
I think day two, I'd be aggravated. Day two, yeah. Oh, I was I, aggravated. I, <laughs> yeah. I think that, I think with me, with Uzi, I was just so attracted about, like, when I went on his page, I seen his outfit. I like you and Uzi. I remember y'all, you had on the little Chanel um, Yeah, trench. he had that. Y'all called me. He was like, ooh, Uzi had gave me, me 30000 Oh, my God. Like, he had, like, 30000 He that. just... I just love Uzi Aura. Uzi gonna flex on you. Like, he gonna go big on you. And that's what I loved about him. Like, it was just like, when I went on his page, I ain't never seen no shit like that. I was like, oop, I wanna see what that be about. Like, I ain't never seen no nigga really put that shit on and just be having all his cars and setting trends. Basically, he used to be on his little, you know, he be on his little shit and... So I wanted experience, and it was the best experience I ever had, because guess what? Ain't nobody ain't never do no shit like that for me. Yeah, I think relationships is hard for me. I don't been in, I feel like I've been in like three real relationships, and it's hard. I'm like a hard person to love. I don't know why. I think I burned it the wrong way. I'm a, I'm a, like, I'm so hard to love. And I always be like, I had them, I had them conversations with myself, like, why are you so hard to love? And relationship I, wise, or as a person? No, relationship wise. Mm -hmm. You know, a person, I, like, I say, everybody loves like Christian. Everybody like wish for us when it comes to a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's like real hard. I'm hard on I'm hard on the nigga. Carisha, please. In a when I'm in a relationship. Relationship when okay. we live together and you're my man. I expect you're hard that. On nigga. Like, yeah. Me, JT, and Santana had fell out. Um we played twenty four seven. We never had we never had a serious moment like Unless I'm calling you crying mm. about my baby daddy. Mm. Going through some emotional shit. Like, I always call you and crying when I'm, like, going through something. I'm depressed. I feel like that's the only serious time serious me and you yeah. ever. You know, like, mm -hmm. when I'm going through some shit, I call you, like, when I'm crying. Yeah. But, like, as far as, like, you never had a time where you call me on no serious shit. Mm. I feel like. You know, like, we don't have serious yeah. conversations. But, you yes. know, whenever I call you, it's, like, real deep. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm like... I need help, like a mm. therapist. You know, I'm coming to you for advice. I'm telling you how I feel, you know. Yeah. I'm some friend shit. Me and JT had that conversation all the time. So it was like, we fell out because the sex had came out. It wasn't really Santana. So I feel like I'm a friend, you know that. I'm like the outspoken one. I'm going like, to say anything. I'm going to ask anything. I don't give a fuck. Like, mm. no, but you said I'm going to say it. I don't care. Yeah. So it was more so like when the sex had came out, I was calling you, bitch. Tell that you. Like, mm -hmm. I'm thinking it was like more of a kiki moment, but you know, like, I didn't know how it emotionally like, yeah. effect, affected you. So I wasn't even thinking from that standpoint. Like, I'm just thinking I'm calling you as a friend and we was gonna laugh, not knowing that you're going through some shit on the background because I haven't had spoke to you prior to that. Mm -hmm. So I called Santana and I'm like, the little he like, bitch, I'm not playing, I'm dead ass serious. But I'm like, while he's saying that, I'm thinking he's playing. Because I always like, Santana, I'm dead ass serious, but mm -hmm. he's playing. So it was like one of them moments. So I called JT and I'm like, bitch. Like, I called JT and he just cussed me the fuck out. But I still didn't think it was like a serious cuss out. And then he ended up cussing you out real bad. And we both on the phone like, bitch, he cussed me. I'm like, bitch, he cussed me out too. I think that I thought it was a playing matter because it really wasn't you. It was like, it really wasn't you. So why I can't play about it? Like, what's the problem? If it's not, if it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it really wasn't you. So I felt like it was a playing matter. Now, if it would, really was you, I would know that you were over there, you know, fucked up about it. And I be, I won't call you because it's you. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, that's but embarrassing. But you know, I didn't know. But Carisha is more like, said, Tana, that's you. Carisha don't give, like, Carisha this called me, crazy. Carisha called me. It was Carisha and my mom. They was like, yeah, bitch, don't try to ignore the phone now. How that shoe getting bust down on the internet. And I was like, bitch, I'm not a motherfucker playing. Don't try me. That's not me. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, and I'll stay like, y'all being my friends, playing. bitch, y'all know me. That's not motherfucking me. And I feel like a lot of, like, you know, a lot of people don't know it's fun. We always funny and scrub the ground, take your shoes off and all that. You know, when I'm serious, I'm serious. And I was like, I felt like just how I'm coming about you and how I'm coming about y'all, I expected that same thing. And for me, it was like, I'm like, that's not me. And when I'm on the internet trying to prove to people that that's not me, and my sisters is in the comments like, I had thought of that ass back, damn, you look good. I was offended. And at first, I was I cut show ass out and I left JT out of it. And then I was <laughs> so in my head, that was New Year's. I had tried to go out to the club, and a bitch got on Twitter and circled JT comment mm. that said, bitch, you look good. So for me, I'm like, 
not Miss Motherfuck Miss Seriousness that don't motherfucking play. Bitch, you been not even joke. Did I say you look good? It was something. It was like it was like damn. Like it was it was it was. But, I whatever. said I would have said that was, was me. Some shit like that because it looked. Whatever good. you whatever what I was what JT said. I forgot what I said. Whatever. Gave the hint of like y'all was just playful like ha ha. That is my friend. And I was like I would never. I went anybody know anybody know when it comes to the motherfucking city girls. Santana ain't don't and my nigga can't say nothing. No peers can't say nothing. No weird ass comments can't say nothing. I argue with y'all boyfriends. I mm -hmm. argue with both of y'all boyfriends about y'all. So I'm like, bitch, don't. I don't have a boyfriend. Go ahead. Well, just yeah. I, when I first met Carisha, that bitch tried to make me fight Jai. I ain't even know her that good. <laughs> Where's that bath the body works? I was gonna fight that boy. I used to do y'all hair um in the mall. But um y'all stop. Like I just always been about since we became friends. I always been been about y'all like mm -hmm. that, and I feel like y'all is like like that about me too. But in that situation, a lot of people don't know what I went through. I sat at home, um, in my house, and I cried, and I didn't want to talk to nobody, and I didn't want to go outside, and I felt weird, and I felt yuck. like to me that's not a flex. I don't give a fuck how a BBL. I don't give a fuck what you're throwing back. I don't give. A, that's not a flex to me. That's mm -hmm. not cute being on the motherfucking internet. And I'm a gay boy that's in rap and doing something that haven't been done before. I don't know how my label is going to look at me. If they think that's me, I don't know if when I walk into rooms and people like, I don't want nothing to do with him. That's the, that's the sex tape boy on the internet. It was just, that was a real serious moment for me. And after we fell out, I understood where you was coming from, you know, as far as where both of y'all was coming from because I'm, I'm fun. I'm playful. And I do, I'm a bit of the type of person that laugh to keep from crying. So I never, when I'm sweating, nobody never know. Cause but it's like, the Santana about, always like, give. But that's how I me and you talk. I be like, Tana, I'm dead ass serious. Yeah. So when you were saying that, I thought that we was friends. Cause that's how we talk all the Bitch, time. Bitch, my voice was dead ass serious. But like a I don't know why. I was like, Santana, finish please. But you was like, dead ass serious. And then what hurt my feelings with Carisha was, after I got mad, you got mad. Yeah, bitch. Cause I'm mad. Yeah, cause, cause you, you cause me. you was carrying on. I, you know, it took me like I, I had my birthday party, and I was like, I really want to tell the cup, but you cut me sad. out so bad, bitch, and you carry on because because you really me, cussed me out, and I was I'm like, after I, cut, I it, feel like after I cut you out on the phone and showed you I was serious, and then I had try, I had to get, I had to suck my, pull myself together, and get on live to try to. Explain myself to a bunch of bitches I don't give a fuck about and I should have never. But even that's what shit. that's the part that made you me got mad. in the comments. No, because again. it made me mad because I felt like at that point I felt like I said, "Damn, so ten seconds to the end there," because you was like, "And how y'all real ass bitches that call my phone?" I'm like, "Well, damn, bitch, if you had just cussed me out on the phone, why are you taking it to the end?" Because it, because that's and that's why I said I don't think that by y'all just knowing my personality, y'all didn't realize it was more than y'all. It was, it was, it was niggas that, it no, was, it was niggas. Because when I got a comment, she was like, no, dead ass serious. So somebody said, tell me, shut the fuck it up. Was, it was niggas, it was niggas that I dated that really know my body, that know where my tattoos at, that know that you never fucked me before. Why the fuck would I get on the internet and fuck a random porn star? It was a lot of, it, I felt like at that time, I needed y'all as my sisters. And because a, a lot of people was, uh, was looking at me as a, ah, ha. As yeah, but I, I mean, never looked at it as a, ah, ha. But that's how I felt. At that, at that point, I didn't need a, Aha, that's you. Aha, you look, but Santana, you look good. I, just, I got a question for you. Just why you not freaky? Like, like, like. Because when when I when I when I lost my virginity like to a boy, I was eighteen, mm -hmm. and from eighteen to probably like twenty twenty one, I did a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, when I you know in the gay world we have gay families. And I had got my first gay mom, and they was like, "Baby, being gay ain't about just fucking niggas. You need to slow down. You young." And I remember I went to the doctor, and yeah. and I had got tested and all that. And you know, with gays, you know, we everybody make it a thing about you know we got HIV and all mm -hmm. that type of stuff. So I was so fucking scared. And when I went and got tested, and my results came back, and I didn't, and I didn't have nothing. I was just, I felt good. I felt blessed, and I was like. I just need to slow down, and I don't like God spared me with as much as the shit I did. I don't move like that no more. When it been in situations when niggas like I'm in the club, niggas think like, yeah, drunk ass bitch, that hoe over there on that off on that Casamigos at the club, I'm finna make that hoe eat dick all night. I don't give that bitch. I give go home, grizzly bear. <laughs>
<laughs> bitch. Oh. And now you aggravated. Since like. 10, I used to have an apartment in um, Atlanta. <laughs> it was not that big because I was so desperate to get out of the halfway house. I know y'all used to be seeing me going there live, live in that little ass apartment. No pictures on the wall, no nothing. I didn't care about it. But me and Santana, Santana used to spend under my house and be in the other room, knocked out, drawers on. That's how I knew there was a Santana on that tape because I know how that bitch ass look, everything look. Because he used to just wake up in the morning. Y'all see me put him on my story, but he snoring like me. Mm. Carisha. <laughs> yes. Yes. I hate it. Don't I don't allow her so to come funny. like even come in my room. I don't want you. That's to come why in we had to stop sharing hotel room. Uh -huh. Yes, she she snored too much. Well, I'm like, bitch, go to sleep. The first, the I first had a night, bitch that the first time I stayed in there, keep complaining you snored. Go stay, to sleep. That night with JT, she let me sleep in the bed. The first night, that first night, she was like. You can never sleep in my bed again. You got to sleep all, across the That's across the bitch that don't sleep. Me and Carisha mm -hmm. sleep together like this and don't care and brace each other Ugh. to snore. It's just. <laughs> I swear to God, Carisha snore like a grown man. Like, I don't, Wake have, I don't even want her in my room chilling. Ooh, she woke up, she was sleeping. No, the other day, let me tell you all about Santana, right? The other day, I don't know what the fuck this bitch was doing. We on the phone like five, it was four hours. I fall to see, I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, No, she probably sleep fast song. as fuck, too. Ooh, she loud. Ooh, bitch. I said, it was so funny because I'm listening to her, so she getting louder and louder and louder. And she did one bit. And it woke up, and I said, "Yeah." And she was like, "What?" I said, "That's so crazy, Carisha. Like a man." I said, "You just woke yourself up, the way you carry like that." But my whole thing is, Santana, hang up, please. No, I just hate I it. It says Santana. Santana, you do the same thing when you go to sleep on the phone. You since Santana be dead ass. I could. I don't want to oh play. Oh my god! Next thing you know, he be snoring. I be like, I be like, stop. <laughs> Fuck it, you know I get so serious. I'm like, stop fucking going to sleep on the phone with me. Like, what? It says Hannah, so I'd be so mad. <laughs> Every day I take my kids to school, I call Santana. We used to be on the phone for Trick or Treat in the morning show. Uh-huh. By the time I get to the school, Santana goes, like, <sighs> I'm like, Santana, we were just playing the fucking game. Like, how you sleep? We, he went back up and get right back into the conversation. Yo, bitch, I don't like that. <laughs> yes, we'll fall asleep on the phone. Santana just like, oh my God, it's the snoring for me. I just can't take it. That's when you just know the man. Uh -huh. Like you could talk, like try to be squeaky all day, but as soon as Santana go to sleep, that's a whole lot of men. <laughs> that's so funny. It's, it's two like... things that Santana do. It's two things that you do what? that show that you so mean. The way you order food Ooh, and the way you motherfucking that bitch sleep. Order ten oh my God. Ew, it's so disgusting. I do not like going out to even say ten. It's <laughs> it's meals. It's not a meal because in size. No, it's one like thing about five. Libras is, is indecisive. Oh, ain't no Libras. No, no, okay, okay, so <laughs> this, okay, I'm gonna know. Lots the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> he be like, show me on mashed potatoes. I want to try it. I want to like. I want to try it all, but I don't eat it all. All that food still in my hotel room the next day. I don't eat it all, but I want lamb chops, lobster tail, a real bad bitch, and baked potato, all that. And I'm a pick at everything. And a hookah. Oh my And a hookah. God. Crab legs. Just the, it's just something that mix. I just can't. <laughs> I don't want I just don't want to go out and eat you. Cause it just never mixed. And I just, it's just us two or us three. We are uh, me and JT know? always had to stay at the house because every time we try to go out to eat, it just is always like, mm -mm, we going back here. I'm like, what's the I problem? Just, uh -uh. Um, speaking of like Trick and Trina morning show, Trick lady made a comment, like more so of like nobody checking for you, mm -hmm. like they more into you, like blah 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 blah. Which is not, we know it's not true. We, mm -hmm. we both equally love, but he said that from his standpoint because he's like he don't travel as much, he don't be around as much, he work in a restaurant. Um. He was born way back in the day, so he wouldn't really know what's going on right now. He's only going to see what's viral mm -hmm. on the internet. So from his standpoint, he felt that way. He felt like, oh my God, Carisha like really made it, because he, of course, he's a fan of Diddy. He's older, and he'll see the podcast and he'll be like, oh, she must have got something between her legs. She got Diddy busting like a whatever old little boy, and JT. She just like nobody is checking for her. Mm -hmm. So like, do I say like how do you how do y'all feel about it? I personally feel like I feel like people be like OJ T need to go solo. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't I don't me I don't never think like I want to go solo. I feel like you know we see people love groups while they love groups. Mm -hmm. Like you know mm -hmm. uh, when you a group, a person bring like I'm gonna bring the freak side out. 
yeah. you're going to bring out the pop your shit. Street riches. Right. You, you know, yeah. so I feel like people love us for why they love us. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I don't, I don't want to, I feel like we started together, we grew up together. That's never mine. Like, I'm not thinking like, oh, I'm going to do this shit without JT. That's not my intentions. That's not what I'm on. I feel like people love us as a group and we strong as a group. We strong as together. And now we always had a conversation like, which is just like, I think, I think that I, and that's what I was saying earlier. JT is out the way and me being y'all friend, it frustrates me sometimes because I'm like, I, Carisha got Carisha please and she could do, she could do all that stuff. And I'm like, JT, you so motherfucking talented and so raw. Why you won't do nothing? And she, it's just, that's not her personality. She don't want to, and nobody can't force her. She been through a different side of life and where she at right now, she is happy. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing wrong with that. If you want to be happy at home with your nigga, get your coin, go do your job and go at home, play fetch with your dogs. I love that for her because that's my friend. I feel like her, with JT being more out the way, that's what kind of try to make people like, Oh, nobody ain't checking for her. When no, people actually love her. People love JT. People love JT so much that they say, I want her to cuss me out. I still love her. Yeah. I know I know Gay was like, I went to the concert, I sat right there and she and she told me to move. And but it's so it's me. so it's so crazy that he said that because it's like when I read the comments, all I read is JT need to go solo. Mm -hmm. I hate him. I it was always JT was the better rapper. So I, I it personally was feel always like that. I get more of the hate in the state. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It may seem like people love me and I got a person that, but I feel like I get more of the hate side of the stick. I think that you on you on to the world is more bubbly, outside, and relatable. JT has the same personality. She if just, you, she just she's like closed off. You have to know her. Like me being J, JT friend, it's a lot of stuff that JT, JT do that I can relate to that the world will never know because she don't, she don't get on she don't get on the internet or around people and show that side like jt is one of my friends that's so fucking encouraging and positive y'all will never see that but mm. i could i could do stuff like i it's times that i be like it's sometimes it's certain rap stuff i call jt and not you and i be like jt what you think or like just life stuff i be like you know what, jt what you think you know what i'm saying how what I should do about this or how I should go about this or how I should maneuver with this. How I personally feel, I personally feel like if we're not gonna do it together, I won't do it. Cause she brought me into it. You get mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Like I feel like if people feel like JT go we go so I'm like shit, she could do it. This her passion. She good as fuck at, at it. She brought this side out of me. Yeah. You know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say? And that's a lot of like a lot of times like a people a, a person, I remember it's somebody and um they'll keep trying to like force me to do a song without Carisha, and I was like, no, like, she gonna be on this song too, like, y'all for to figure it out, like, she gonna be on this song, I'm not, and Carisha, like, the type of person that, like, like, she don't give a fuck, you coulda did it, and I'm like, I'm not gonna do it, like, it's either you coming on this song, or the bitch, it's fuck her, like, mm -hmm. and at the time, the person was so hot, you get what I'm saying, and it was like, no, like, we coming on this shit together, and mm -hmm. we, we did our shit, and it's like, cause that's exactly what she said, that's how we started, and I feel like, I won't go solo only for one reason. I, same thing she said, like we started together. I don't want to go over here and I don't want to be found over here trying to outdo her or do, you know, go against, do, each other. Go against like, cause that's what people are pinpointing. Like yeah, people are coming to me, oh, I see she doing this without you. Like oh, she got this going on, so what you gonna do? And I'd be like, shit, I'll figure it out. And they'll just be looking at me like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And it ain't never like, a race, you get what I'm trying to say? Cause if it was a race, it I I got the same. We got the same. Exactly. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's never a race, but it'll be people around. It's the people around y'all, yeah, and that's one thing that I admire. You gotta be strong. Y'all strong. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, one thing that I have, admire like, about y'all. Always have conversations about. It. Like I always say, I be like, I I have conversations with her about like, damn JT, you could really rap. Like I be like, damn, like you know, it side by like I be like, I don't. I don't, I don't be feeling some of the shit that we be going through because it's like, I know what you could be, what you could do and it's so much that hold us back. And I be like, damn, like for you, you really is, you really is that. So I be like hating the situations, but it's like, I'm, you that. Like I, I mm. ain't finna do this. Like I'm not, it, that's never, I'm yeah. never going to do it without you. I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's always, Johnny, I, I remember when we first started, like it was already in plans, like, that we was doing solo albums. Mm -hmm. And me and Carisha looked at each other. 
He was like, what the fuck is they talking about? Like, literally coming out the gate, it was like, y'all yeah. finna do these many albums? And yeah, y'all, we can start working on the girl solo album. We be like, bitch, we really know how to put it together a song with both of us, two uh -huh. verses. And y'all telling us that we gotta go solo. So we was like, bitch, whatever you say, like whatever we say, we gonna say we we not doing the solo we takes. And I ended up going to jail anyways. And I remember the first time, Krisha said she told me, I think she was scared to tell me. She did her first song by herself when I was in jail with 21 Savage. And I had like found out through, I forgot how I found out. I cried on a yard <laughs> with Vita, right? Vita would tell you, I cried on a yard for hours. And I said, Krisha trying to snake me. She didn't even tell me that she was looking at a song with 21 Savage. Like, it's over for me. I got this many more months left. Like, mm -hmm. this girl really for to just blow up without me. And what, what made me so happy when I finally down on the song, it said, featuring the city girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like, I personally feel like I always say that like, I'm, I'm not gonna just make it seem like I don't care about it, but it's yeah. just like we in this together. I feel like we really is like fr from the hood. Yeah, we is really too. We always say like we scared, but we scared our way through the industry. Like, yeah, we always laugh about we it. We always like, laugh at like every time you get up and say, "People like bitch, how the fuck we got here." We like, how the fuck we know these people? Like, so, it just be like for me, it's just like I don't listen. Being y'all friend on the outside looking in, or not even on the outside looking in, being y'all friend on the inside and knowing. I know what y'all go through as friends. I know how y'all have y'all arguments and stuff like that. And y'all are, y'all could go crazy on each other and all that. But at the end of the day, y'all is the city girls and y'all stick to that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no matter what people could say, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Y'all have two different walks of life. You got kids and shit like that. So you might hop on a feature or might, you know what I'm saying, do some shit that you got to do, you know what I'm saying, for your family. But I feel like regardless of what, y'all never snake each other uh, y'all never y'all never like you know it it don't it don't never give like we gonna go solo we a group and somebody might carisha it might be a freaky song that, yeah, that just don't that, that just, just don't, don't fit really fuck with. and like, it might be a pop sh it, 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 that you don't fuck with too or that don't fit it might be a song where i need this time to beat and i need the bitch to pop that shit and ride that beat and carisha get more so i don't put my pussy on your nose i i can't use you for that song and jt get on it but what I love is y'all always come back and be a unit. Mm -hmm. And I think and I think that, you know what I'm saying, with as much as people try to, I feel like that's a group thing anyways, and y'all girls. Girls are, I grew up around a lot of girls and I seen a lot of competition between bitches. Mm -hmm. um, not even bitches, but females. Um, I see how girls compete. I see how, bitch, my hair gotta be longer than hers. My ass gotta be fatter than hers. I gotta be rawer than hers. And I feel like all the shit that people said, even from the start, Oh, she the rapper. That bitch can't rap. She can't do this. She can't do that. And then even people try to, you know how to, you know how yeah. in there. So what she watching that anyways? Yeah. It's now, just like a, I, I see it happen all the time. Like it's just a, it's just like a cycle. It'll be one at one time they love it, Carisha. It's fuck me. And then it'll be one time they love me and it's fuck her. And I just feel like that's just that's just people. That's that's just people and that's just the world. And that's that's back to what I said. Like you can never. It's it's very, make... but it's also like very hard though to be in a group because of that. Yeah. But that's why I, that, I get what you're trying to say. It's like them y'all still doing it. It be blogs writing stories like oh they they broke they breaking up they did and they be dead ass wrong and it's been years and mm -hmm. a lot of people can't keep going for years. You get what I'm trying to say? Like so it's hard being in a group being two women. Women are always pinned against each other. So imagine just being in a group. And being in a group and being pinned against each other. I feel like probably if we wasn't like, if we didn't like grow up together and we wasn't real friends. They would, yeah. We would have been, been, been easy. If it's not, it, yeah, it, that's true. Because I'd be like, it's a certain level of respect, like disrespect I'm going to take to her. But another bitch. Could get it. <laughs> I'm going to take that disrespect <laughs> through the roof. Mm -hmm. That's just me. But to her, I'm like, I can't disrespect her like that. I can't make her feel uncomfortable. I can't, you know, say the wrong thing to her because mm -hmm. this is sisterhood. This is a business. And and when you treat it like that, you got to have a sisterhood with the business. Because yeah. if it's just a business, we both could be sold. Everybody, yeah, everybody. Like we both be about literally their separately business. could be sold. But we treat it, we put the sisterhood with the business. If, if I don't agree with what Krisha got going on or what she did to me, she know I'm going to just go ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna never say nothing to her to make her feel uncomfortable for life. What I do to another bitch, I'ma just silence you. Yeah. I'ma be sitting in my corner like, hey, yeah, 
something pop off, I'm there for you. But if you know you're not pissing me off, which is often, it's just like, all right, quiet. And I just, I like, I like, I like that. I feel like even now, like y'all just going older and you in LA, she in Miami, you got different friends of other friends that you might rather hang with. Cause she got other friends, but it's like, you could still just feel the impact when it's the city girls. Yeah. You know, I feel like, like cause, I feel like I um I love us as I love us as the city girls, but I just feel like we just two different people. We just that's two different, different people. personalities, which is like and, like, I, like it went back to earlier, like we together, it's like y'all we loud. She so like she, she so like that. Like, she remind me of my mama. Mm hmm I don't know why. But if we was just the same, it would be so boring. Yeah, it would. It won't and, and But that, what, I could, what I could so. say I just don't think like, so. I don't I think both of us should have the same. I, I just don't. I don't. But ever I feel like ever since you know, I first I met y'all, all, walk, move, all nothing, that nothing like nobody. You was so. already different when I first when I first met mm -hmm. y'all and I did y'all and I did y'all makeup. JT was in her room. You was in another room. It was two different people. When I was in the room by myself with JT, she's like this, and I came over there with you. You was like that. I was like, oh, these is they the city girls, but they have two separate personalities. So even sometimes when people see y'all or see certain things, like you know, they like. Why they like? Why they like that? But it be the other way around sometimes too, because a person that think that they met me and like me so much, I'm open. Like I'm just, I'm not, I'm transparent. Yeah. Whatever you get with Carisha be a wall, and the person gonna be like, "What I did though?" Why? Yeah. Majority of the people always feel like I don't like them. When I'm like they be like, "She don't like me," and I be like, "This just our first time meeting." But mm -hmm. me on the hand, I'm gonna let you know exactly who I am the first time. I yeah. Ain't, Baby, this is me. I ain't sugarcoming shit. And they'll come to me and be like, "Carisha don't like me." Mm -hmm. She acted weird. She, like, what's wrong with her? Like, what I did to her, and I'd be like, this is the first time you meeting her. She, that's just how she gonna be a couple of times. Then y'all mm -hmm. gonna just got it, run right, off the sunset. It. But, but I think that's the, like, the balance of it, though. Yeah. Imagine if you had two fun girls, two playful bitches, two, you know, like, it's the, it's the balance. Like you said, you could go to JT for some serious shit. Imagine you have to come to me for some serious shit, I'm a playful bitch. We gonna laugh. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna never get the serious shit. You ain't gonna never get your answer. So it's a perfect balance, and I uh, feel like mm -hmm. that's like having two kids. You got one badass kid that's gonna give you a run for your money, and you got that's my good child. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's that's what it is with us. But we we real friends. We grew up together. We been through everything together, and that's why we the city girls. And me personally, if if we gotta go solo, it's y'all can hang it up for your money. I'm, I'm, I, I I I just can't I can't see it no other way. Like we and I think that's like what that's 80. what carry the impact. It's like y'all both. I feel like y'all both had that mindset. Mm -hmm. If if it was if it was to be a point where y'all had to split, y'all just be like, "Bitch, I'm finna go be a wife with my man, and bitch, I'm finna, you know, do what do what I do, bitch. Yeah, I got the like, kids, I, I got a mom, but I bitch, we I ain't finna I ain't finna keep rapping and making no songs. Y'all could do other stuff, but it's, I, it's plenty of things to can. do. You know, as a woman, it's so many things you could do. Other than rap, I, I love music, but that's not where I want to end at all. Yeah, me like, I, mean, I love the way they it. Call but... me out so bad, I be like, man, every day I be telling JT, I be like, man, fuck this shit. She be like, uh, uh rapper just too <laughs> hard. I like, I, I, be like, I, feel like, I, I can't. It's just too much. Mm, th it's not just where I want to end though. Like, I, I don't think I ever found my love for it yet. Like, I don't. It's too many people, too many opinions. Too many problems, I but it pays the bills. You know? it, it pays the bills, and that's that's. I think that that's. I had thing. a love. I, I had a love for the. Sometimes, even to this day, I get shook up of myself about rap. Like I love rap, but the game itself, no. Yeah. That's not like what I want to end up. In, I right? think it's because even myself included, none of us didn't grow up like we gonna be rappers when we get older. So now I have got a point where let me get in my bag and I have a personality and I know how to rap and I know how to create a song and shit like that. Now it pays the bills, but what else? What it, coming from where we came from? It wasn't much we could do. Yeah, and I, rapping damn sure wasn't nothing that rap, we could do. That's what I said. Do. We that, was kids. Like, you thought that you had to be Lil Wayne or Drake or somebody already. Really now, y'all, we all us grew up off SoundCloud. We made a song, put that shit on SoundCloud, and labels started calling. People started recognizing what the fuck was going on, but it wasn't ever a passion. So even me, bitch, I'm 28 years old, and I'm a gay boy. At 32, 33, I don't know if I want to be talking about an AP and sliding my pussy across your mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I just feel like... Mm -hmm. It, I, should, I, I don't be know. Going. When I'm 50, I'm going to be saying this. <laughs> <laughs> I would just, I would just say this. 
I'm just so thankful that we in this space. We bless God in our heart. He put us here for a reason and we strong, man. And we ain't gotta just we, we we know how far we came. We came from nothing to something and I'm so blessed, so thankful to be doing this for you. I love you. And if I ain't have a bitch so serious, who the fuck I'm gonna argue with? <laughs> <laughs> And I and I, I I already love you and I'm so happy we doing this together and we we gonna get some money out this shit. Yes. <laughs> and congratulations. Thank you. Period. You deserve this because she love to just I'd be like, Carisha, I'm not getting on live. I don't got the time. <laughs> and then she'll just be on there like, I don't know. She always wanted I said say, say this since we started rapping. Carisha always was thought she was that girl, delusional, thought she was <laughs> She knew she was gonna be a star. I remember Carisha put a G wagon on her page. And everybody thought she had a G wagon. Like a, in a show. she just manifested this life. She just always wanted nice shit. She always wanted to. It always was popping in the city, but she just always was taking trips and places she ain't supposed to be. The, the people I ain't supposed to be with people who she ain't <laughs> supposed to be with because she wanted a lifestyle so fucking bad. So when I see her having a lifestyle, I be like that's. That's what she want. That's what she do. Like they're like Carisha over there popping shit. You don't never pop your shit. I'm like. That's what Carisha always was doing. That's mm -hmm. what that's the life she was always living. Like she wanted to, I'm the bitch, I don't want to go on no cruise with these people. Like, why the fuck I'm going on a cruise? And Carisha, like, you look bitch on her page. Going. I'm bitch I'm going. She got on her bathing bitch. suit and sin on her knees looking yes. back. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I she really went. I like, that's just always been her. That like, was Carisha. She page. had her 80,000. Carisha came off the gate with 80,000 followers and shit, bitch. I was on Facebook, like. I barely uploaded on my Instagram. I saw Facebook cussing bitches out, meeting up in the hood, fighting and shit. Carisha on Khaled boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Khaled, y'all, Summer Jam, he used to do the little thing, and she looking back in his, in, on the unlocation, Bahamas and all that. Like, girl, please. Like, And that's just the difference. Like, I'm on Facebook arguing bitches down about shit, about they cards cutting off, selling cards and shit. And Carisha's just on the pole. Uh -huh. So she just always wanted it. me. I just was doing it to get my money to take care of myself because I don't really have to work. But Carisha, she wanted that lifestyle. That's yeah. why I be so happy. I be like, she got her G-Wagon. She got Period. her this, she got her that. Thank so that's you. always what she wants. Thank you, God. Thank she you. got them Chanel purses. Uh -huh. I used to, I remember I was scared, man. I got these Chanel glasses. I gave Carisha glasses. She was so, I was so happy. happy. She, I was like, oh what's the big God. deal with the, about the glasses? She's like, this is Chanel. De Chanel. I'm like, uh -huh. girl, it's not, you can have them. Oh my God. I she was, was like, so you, happy. Ooh, you got them shit. I had on a, like, you can have I had on a blue wig with no glasses and a black bathing suit, two pieces. So she was like, thinking they doing it. Thank like, you. Me, <laughs> I just said, never, my friend Cleaver be like, bitch, you need to get a motherfucking purse. I'd be like, bitch, I'm trying to take my money home. We have a bitch that spot their money in the stock. Like, damn, like, that's just, that, I just want to take my money home. And that's, and that's the motherfucking city, girls, period. <laughs> You're watching Carisha, please, on Revolt, period.